Welcome to the Repeat Rewards Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to detail how to use the EasyLink PC application on your workstation or point of sale station. The first step to use the EasyLink application once it's downloaded is to find it on your workstation. The icon will look like this, and it could be located anywhere on your screen because it can be changed. So click it to open, and you'll see this screen here. Here you'll see that there's a variety of options. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to add a member transaction. So you, we're using the test member number of nines. And then you have the option of putting in a product code if you want to track what sort of item is being purchased. Or if you just want to add the subtotal amount in order to get points for it, you'll place the dollar amount in this field here. And then we have the employee ID field. In this field, you could uh, put in an employee ID so that you can track who's entering what. We recommend using these for better reporting purposes. And now for the certs and promos, if the member has an offer that they wish to redeem, you'll be able to see what they've been issued that is still valid, so it's unexpired and it is, um, hasn't been used, and it'll show up in this preview area. So for that, you'll just click the cert, and it's gonna put the, uh, number into the field here so you don't have to type it in and then you'll click submit. Once the transaction has submitted you'll see that a receipt has populated. This shows you the members information that they received, their current point balance, their new point balance, and uh, you have the option of printing this if you wish if you do have this hooked up to a receipt printer or a computer with a printer. You can also then just choose to click close receipt when you're done. Now that we've learned how to add a transaction, we're going to go through some of the other options that you can do with the EasyLink application. So the first one is member number lookup. This could be used if you are unsure of the member number that you wish to give points for. You can look them up by a variety of other uh, options such as name, email, phone, uh, member number. For this training, we're going to search by last name. So you'll enter in the last name, click search, and then it'll find the member. You can then choose, uh, if the information looks correct, you could choose use for transaction or edit member. Use for transaction will input it into the transa transaction field that we just went through. Edit member will allow you to change the information. The next option that we're going to go through is how to add a member. So this you could do if somebody has enrolled or they're enrolling as they're speaking with you at the store, you could enter their information as you go. Or you can take a paper form if they filled one out and input the information here. You'll input all the fields that they did provide. You can skip any that they didn't. The important information to receive is member number, name, email address, and mailing address in um, birth date information if you wish to send marketing communications such as those. Now you'll click Enroll in Loyalty to complete the enrollment. The next option you'll see is Miscellaneous Loyalty Functions. Here you can do quite a few different things. Here you can input the, the test member number that we're going to use for training purposes and look up how many points they have. So you see the current point balance is returned so you can let the member know how many points they have, let them know how many points away that they are, and you can print this if they wish. The next option you'll see on the right is to add a supplemental member number. This would be for if maybe a member had a account with you and they lost their card and you gave them a new membership card to associate to their existing account. You would input their uh, original member number here and if you needed to there's a member number lookup area. And then you would add the supplemental member, so the new card that you gave them. This could also be used if it's a husband and wife scenario and they wish to have their accounts joined. You would input both numbers so that they earn points together. And then you would just click submit to, to finish this process. The next option is for promo inquiry. This would be if you wanted to see if a promo code was valid for a member. You could uh, test it here ahead of time or at the time of the transaction when you put in the member a uh, number into the transaction, you would see if the promo code uh, popped up as one that's still valid. The next option is for reward inquiry. This is very similar in the sense that you're looking up to see if a certificate that's been issued to a member is still valid. Again, you could do so during the transaction by inputting the member number and then looking in the preview, 
or you could look up the certificate number here to see if it's valid. The next option is to redeem batch redeem certificates. This would be used if somebody had a um, large amount of certificates that needed to be redeemed. You could input all of them at the same time here and hit submit. This will redeem them all in the system. You could also redeem them all during the transaction. The other options we have here on the right are for gift card. So we're going to show you how to use the EasyLink PC application with the gift card program. First, you'll input the gift card number. Then, uh, right now we're under gift card sales. So this is um, used to take an amount off of a gift card. So then we'll put the amount that should be taken off of it, so what they're spending that day, and we'll click Submit. Then you'll see that a receipt has populated. This could be printed if you have this hooked up to your, your point of sale printer or your computer's printer. And the details that it shows that the, the recipient might be interested in are their balance and then their new balance. So how much is remaining on that gift card. Other gift card functions that are available through the EasyLink are uh, shown on the right here. You can activate a new card. So this would be somebody purchasing a card that you'd like to put the amount that they um, are purchasing it for on. The next one is to recharge an existing card. So a card that's already been used up, you could recharge to use again. A return, that where a gift card was used as tender. Balance inquiry to see how much is remaining on the card. And other. Here you'll get to the help area for the EasyLink application, settings, and connection testing. Thank you for watching this episode of the Repeat Rewards Learning Channel. If you have any questions regarding this application or anything shown in this video, you can contact us at 866-268-4958 or email in at merchantservices at repeatrewards.com.